Nation, this is Duntop. So today is April 21st, 2024. It is a Sunday morning about almost 7 a.m. So I'm gonna swing around here. I'm out, I'm sitting in lot C at the... So there's our beautiful stadium right there, Allegiant Stadium. But this morning what I'm gonna do is I'm on my way to the Tropicana. I want to show where they're gonna they're starting demolition on the Tropicana and they are going to be building the A's stadium there. So I'm gonna show you on my screen in my car. You can see the Allegiant Stadium right here. And then if we go down here, you can see right here this is the T-Mobile Arena probably not even a mile away and then if we go over here this is the Tropicana so they're gonna tear all this out and back here in this back corner here this is the nine acre area where they're gonna be building the new A's Stadium so the place has been closed for almost three weeks I'm gonna head over there and we're gonna see if they started any demolition yet so stay tuned and we are going to go see what's going on. Alright, I just got to the Excalibur, parked here in the front. So this is right by Luxor. And then you got Mandalay Bay. <laughs> so if you drive back this way, back behind these buildings, you'll be able to head over to Hacienda Bridge to the stadium. So this is the tracks for the tram, the free tram that I've shown. You take from Excalibur to Mandalay Bay for free if you're heading towards the stadium. You know, if you're staying on the strip, just get to Excalibur and then you could take the tram over. But I'm gonna make my way over here to the Tropicana. You know, I heard the main uh, towers aren't supposed to get torn down until about October but they have a lot of prep work to do to you know start getting it ready for demolition so we're gonna head over here and see if they started anything so we're gonna go across the street right here this is by the Raiders Modelo Raider Nation billboard looks like it's still up the Sun as you can see is shining straight at me so it's hard to tell right now okay I just crossed Las Vegas Boulevard and we are right here at this billboard they used to have Raider parties the night before the football games so they would have a pretty good party so no more cool billboard Let's get that and hang it up in the garage all right but anyway so we are here on the corner and we can see they are getting ready we got they're putting up all these posts here looks like they're getting ready to put like a uh, fencing around the property so we got the post going in you can see the a lot of the landscaping is getting torn out. We got all these palm trees tore out. So we got the parking structure. So I have not like heard any timeline besides the towers should come down in October, but I don't know if they're going to be getting rid of all these parking decks and stuff like that start tearing them down early you can see inside the parking deck I don't know how well you'll be able to see see that reflection in there. there's a lot of water underneath there okay so I'm gonna walk towards Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana that's like the main entrance area but yeah, they're getting this, uh, all these posts up all the way around. 
don't know what kind of this poor pigeon looks like he's had better days um, all right so these are pretty tall posts if you remember if you followed me with the legion stadium build that they had chain link fences right now over here i'm getting the vibe that they're gonna put like uh, wood panels on and probably some kind of advertisements for the future stadium hope not because then it'll be harder to film but okay if we look at the marquee they still got that on so it's saying you know the 67 year history they actually closed two days before their 67th birthday all right i did see they have a like a local i don't know if they're local but a liquidation company selling all the furniture and all the stuff inside where they are right now it's like you got to call and make an appointment with them to go in and buy some of the furniture and stuff so i did see they had some of the suites advertised between 1500 and 3500 dollars basically you pay for the suite and everything in there including the sinks and the toilets and the jacuzzis you could tear everything out in drawers so i don't know how well those are selling but all right looks like this is the main like valet area you can see they're tearing up so they got the cut in the blacktop there to put i guess to keep extending the fencing all the way down This is the kind of fencing I'm hoping they had, just so you could see through, but don't know. All right, so as we're walking, I never paid attention to the building up close like right now, but if we zoom in on the side, it's, it's looking pretty old can see all the panels underneath the windows so it's look like it's seen better days here all right I want to get to the other side we got the people bridge here I think I could go along the corner you can see they got the signs Private property, no trespassing. All right, this is the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana. So you have the pedestrian bridge right here. We walk through this way and this isn't really fenced off right in here. I mean it is here but it's like I just came from the bus stop area and that was over there and you could just see everything in here is looking pretty pretty bad all right so they have the fencing here I'll go on this side for now I don't think I was supposed to be in there but it's not really secured too much doesn't say it. oh well there's no sidewalks here so you got to go that way <laughs> there's people in there jogging so okay I got somebody's scooter here Yeah, you can just see they haven't kept up the grounds for a long time.
All right, this is the valet drop-off pickup. So you can see the doors, they got them all. All changed shut. here it just seems weird it's a weird feeling because you know all these other corner hotels are always hustling and bustling and over here we got nothing going on All right, I am now on the north end of the property. So this is where you can see they have these, like the motel looking buildings. And they are actually starting to demolish them. So if you look over here, they're tearing out the, the area where they should have the they used to have the sliders, like to go out on the balcony. Let me pan over and you can see some of them here. So they're starting to tear all those out. Or if we look over here, you can see they got some of the, I don't know what those are. I can't tell from here if they're curtains or what they are. lot you can see all the all the trees have been cut down and they got like these little islands in between where they're just getting everything ready so the new A stadium should be going back around where that tower is it's going to be that back corner nine acres Yeah, they, they're tearing this one down. All right, so this stuff still isn't barricaded, so I'm gonna walk down the sidewalk, get a closer look. I'm surprised it's not barricaded because they do have all this stuff tore out. You can see the big hole there. But don't really see anyone around. No security, no nothing. And we're gonna get a closer look at this motel area. So these are going. I would assume this building is going to get torn down pretty quickly. <clears throat> hmm. So you can see that they're already all gutted out also.
So this you can see, this is by the Oyo. And then MGM Grand is over there. Alright, looks like we got some vintage carpet here if anyone wants some memorabilia. So that's got to be the carpet out of there. So they just got the construction area signs here. So, so far, you know, they're not saying anything about walking around outside, which I think should stop sooner than later because they're going to have all the equipment in here pool area let's see if they got water in the pool still it's hard to see from here it looks like it's empty but I can't tell it's looking like it's empty but I got the Sun right behind me and I just can't I can't tell if it is or not because of the reflection. All right, so I should be in the outfield over here once the stadium is built. I would say this should be somewhere in the in that area where the stadium is going to be. So I do know someone that did come here to pick up, they bought some like of the bar stools and mirrors and stuff like that. And they actually, you actually come here to get it still. They had to come in and you got to have your own help and you know, they don't help you move anything what you want. You take it off the walls or carry it and you bring it to the car yourself. But he said they were really cheap, like five bucks and two bucks. So everything was cheap. All right, I'm making my way around. This is the, this would be the back of the place. So we got Tropicana security, but they're not doing too much. Alright, so out this way, you can see a lot of the heavy equipment still on the south end. Those are all just tables, like banquet tables. <clears throat> Okay, this backside, same thing. You got all the starting to tear up. You can see all the blacktop they're pulling up. They're probably getting ready. Let me come this way, see if it looks like they're gonna put a fence around this side. Cause this is the way, so home, home plate should be like, I don't know exactly if it'd be this far back, but it's gonna be facing this way. So third base, second base, all that. The outfield will be this way. So the backdrop is gonna be that corner of Las Vegas Boulevard. So MGM is gonna have front row as well as New York, New York, and Excalibur. So that will all be facing that way. All right, I don't see any uh, fencing going up yet over here. No cutouts. I don't know where all this is coming from. Okay, the Trop team entrance, team Trop entrance. That would be all for employee entrance to this back tower.
All right, so I think what I was saying at the beginning, how they're putting all the posts up. There's a bunch of the posts right there, and then you can see all the plywood here. Yeah. Oh, you can't be in there? Okay, thank you. All right, you can see the equipment here. Looks like brand new equipment to tear this down. All right, so I was in there and security actually told me I'm not allowed to be in there. They don't really have that many signs yet blocking off people. But. All right, so I'm behind, this is Reno Avenue. Actually, I have a Catholic church right there. So that's the shrine of the holy, most holy redeemer. All right, before security stopped me, so it did, I was showing all the plywood and the post. So this whole area should be kind of blocked off. So, and if you didn't know, so the airport is right pretty much right behind all these trees down that way so this is a restricted fly zone for drones unless you got a license I might have to look into that all right so there's the demolition GGG demolition ain't going going gone And then we got some of these temporary office buildings. I'm not sure what this trench is they got dug here. All right, I just made a, pretty much just walked around the property. So I'm back, Reno, Las Vegas Boulevard over here. Once we we got these offices here, I'm assuming this will be for the demolition crew. I don't see any signs on them with you know what they're for. See all the landscaping's gone here. Yeah, even back here. I'm actually surprised you can see a lot of the trees there I thought they would have you know saved a lot of them transplant them resell them to someone else Okay, Raider Nation, coming to you from the Tropicana site with the Raiders Modelo sign in the background. So again, please subscribe if you are not to my channel, Raiders1967, to get updates on this build, demolition and build, as well as anything Raider related. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you guys next time.